Hello, I'm Professor Pefo de Latour. I'm working in Saint Louis Hospital. I'm uh, in the transplant unit. And my task today will be to explain to you what is GVHD and what is the consequence of this disease on the daily life of the patients. So basically, when we are giving allogeneic transplantation for patients, we are trying to find the best donor, the best match donor. But uh, we are not uh, using uh, siblings in the way of identical. Uh, when we are uh, compatible, we are not completely identical. So what's going on is that the new immune system is going to destroy the cancer. This is the reason why we are giving transplant. But it is also going to attack the recipient. So in other words, the white cells, a part of white cells called T cells, are going to destroy cancer cells, but they are also going to attack a little bit the recipients responsible for diarrhea, skin reactions, and liver uh, toxicity in the first three months. And after three months, until two years, this reaction that is called graft versus host disease might also um, uh, act on lung function, on muscles, on eyes, on mouth, responsible for a, a dry syndrome and all those consequences that make people being cured of the initial disease, but might suffer from pain or limitation in, in, in daily care life. Um, uh, suffering from these reactions that we try to, of course, control with immunosuppressant, but might in a daily life actions be a little bit handicapped uh, for those recipients.